So I've had to watch the movie The Secret about seven times recently and I'm getting sick of it. But while I'm watching it, I'm thinking, is that really the way to be successful? This is my video on how to be successful. So I'm sitting there watching this video about how to be successful and I'm thinking, really? I don't see it really happening like that. So here's a few tips and tricks that I know that work and have helped me so far on my road to success. So here we go. Throughout history, all the great minds, all the great leaders, all the great achievers, they have something in common. They always say that cheaters never prosper, but actually, if you think about it, cheaters always prosper. Who do you think the most prosperous people are? They're cheaters. They figured out how to work the system and they cheat. The first little tip or trick is that everything is flawed. Everything has a flaw and you have to know how to look for those and how to exploit them. Eventually, someone will show you a little pity and give you a great job. That's not likely to happen. So what you need to do is find the flaws in the system and work them to your advantage. Think about your resume. So you want to put things that look really nice on there, but you don't want to have to work that hard to put all those things on there. So we're going to do something called doing just enough. You still have to get all those jobs and you still have to go to college, but you don't have to do your very best. You have to do just enough. Some people are perfectionists and try way too hard. And the person that you're turning the paper into probably doesn't care that much. Some people don't care at all and don't do anything and they fail. You need to think about what you're handing in and to who and what they want. If the assignment is written down, look at what they're asking for and do that, only that, and in the easiest way, just that. Make sure whoever you're trying to impress that you talk to them. Brown knows a little bit. Get to know them, but don't become friends with them. It's a tight line, but um, you gotta work it just right. So when you interview or when you're writing your resume, remember to embellish. Make things sound better than they actually were. It's okay. When you when they call to confirm all that information, all they're really ever gonna get is the hire date and how much you are paid. So be sure to embellish. And in the end, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And this is very real. So make sure you network and keep contacts and make friends. This is the great secret of life. So here's a little disclaimer. Even though I know these tricks, it's because I've seen them and I've only used them every now and then. But since I have a soul and a heart, it's hard to really be heartless. So. Make sure you use them wisely because they can come back to bite you if not used correctly. So the question this week, if you are on a vacation, what would be the one thing that you would take? It would be a credit card. You gotta eat. If you have money, you can do whatever you want. So I would bring my credit card. So it feels really good to be back. Good to see you guys. I'll see you next week or every other Sunday or... I'll see you around. Bye.